Reptiles running wild. Residents in Southeast Cape Coral say iguanas have become a part of their daily lives. They've reportedly been setting up shop right in people's backyards. Four in your corners, Mark Jackman, speaking with neighbors and wildlife officials about your options if they invade your property. There's hundreds of them, the little babies out here. Iguanas making their home in Southeast Cape Coral. Neighbors torn between how they feel about the growing population. They're terrible. You know, we planted, um, it started, we planted some hibiscus, and then we found out later that that's a favorite food for them. So um, they ravaged it. Even though we had a very short amount of time to look for iguanas today, we did spot one, though every neighbor we spoke to said they do see them on a regular basis. They like to hang out here in the backyards and the canals, and not everyone is against them. Iguanas are not native, and Fish and Florida Wildlife says they are not a protected species. Though they can get pretty big, Cindy Burdett doesn't consider them a pest. They're harmless. They're vegetarian. They don't bother anybody. I mean... I don't see what the problem is. I don't want to see them tortured or something like that, but I think uh, it's too bad that they, um, they're so destructive. In Cape Coral, Mark Jackman, Fox 4, in your corner. Now, iguanas, like pythons, are considered an invasive species that thrive in South Florida, but wildlife officials say iguanas do harm to the natural ecosystem.